Humphrey, he died at just 67 years old from a disorder impacting the heart. Joining us this morning to talk about that medical condition, Dr. Dea Weisler Sneer, joining us from Hartford Healthcare. Doctor, your first time in the show. We certainly appreciate your joining us. And I might just ask right off the bat, a lot of folks following this story on social media, what was the condition that Godfrey suffered from? So he had an inherited, a genetic condition. Um, it's uh, basically muscular dystrophy. It affects the muscles. Um, it weakens the muscles. It lowers the mass of the muscles. And it also has people with this condition have difficulty relaxing their muscles after hand grip, for example. But it can affect also the heart and other organs, such the eyes can cause cataract, diabetes. Um, so that's what he had. It is caused by an expansion of a segment in the DNA. Um, and as I said, it is genetic. It is a dominant condition, meaning that um, there is you need one abnormal copy of the gene to have the disease, and there is a 50% risk of passing it on to your offsprings. Yeah, helpful there, Doctor. I think a lot of folks surprised that he passed at just 67 years old. I wonder if you were equally as surprised given his condition, and is it deadly to everyone? So it, it's not. Um, he had myotonic dystrophy type 2, which is actually a mild form. Um, there are two types of myotonic dystrophy, type 1, which is the more severe form, and type 2, which is the milder form. Um, the, I think the issue is um, the effect of the heart. Myotonic dystrophy can weaken the heart and cause what we call cardiomyopathy, but it can also affect the electricity of the heart, where it either causes a very slow heart rate and heart block or life-threatening abnormal fast heart rhythm, which we call ventricular tachycardia, and that's basically what happened to him, unfortunately. Um, it did surprise me because in... Type 2, um, the heart involvement is less common than in type 1, um, but we know that it can happen, and these patients um, should be followed and seen by cardiologists. I see these patients, for example, um, we have a special clinic for these patients where we follow them and look for heart involvement, cardiac involvement. And if we um, decide that they're high risk, um, we even protect them with defibrillators, which is a special pacemaker that can shock the heart in case they have these life-threatening um, arrhythmia. And, Doctor, maybe just lastly for me, I think many of us, we just can't help it. We see a story like this, and all of a sudden we can go into panic mode. They feel something. Is something wrong with me? Do I have a problem? When is the right time for one of us to go see a doctor if we think we might potentially have an issue? Um, if you have um, a fainting episode that you know it's not like oh you feel dizzy and you know you you have a stomach upset and and you know you faint but you have a fainting episode all of a sudden or you feel lightheaded like you're about to faint if your heart is racing you have palpitations what we call your heart is racing fluttering and it doesn't last a few seconds but more than that if you have chest pain of course or if you develop shortness of breath and you see that you can't do what you would normally do. You're short of breath all of a sudden when you climb up the stairs, for example. And lastly, if you see that you have um, your legs are swollen, you see that you have fluid on board. These are the things that would alarm you to see a cardiologist. Some really helpful information there, Dr. Dale Weisler Sneer. We appreciate your joining us on the show. I know you're relatively new to Connecticut. Nice to have you here, and thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you. All right, at 9.48, we do want to get you caught up on the